I'm not an expert at machine learning. Um, I'm an expert at being someone who's trying to learn it. So maybe that's a slightly subtle difference. Um, so, yeah, so I, actually you've seen my colleague already, John, he's already uh, just showed you something to do with uh, templates. Um, I work for a company that uses a lot of machine learning, but for some reason I've not actually used it yet. Uh, so I'm starting to figure it out for myself. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few things and there's working examples on GitHub. Okay, so yeah, so actually, um, I mean the thing to use is obviously PyTorch and you can use LibTorch if you're doing C++. And yeah, you can make it easy for yourself with CMake to set it all up for you, that's great. Um, but, um, and there's a bit more stuff which I couldn't be bothered to paste on this slide. Uh, but actually today, I'm not gonna actually use that in any of my examples because I'm not really ready for these abstractions. Um, I mean, I can, you know, I've made a few examples with them and stuff, but I, I want to know what's going on. So I'm gonna try and do it without using those, just use plain C++, stood vector, and standard library algorithms. Um, so that, that way, you get a bit more understanding. So uh, here's the first example. Uh, yeah, so what I wanna do is solve a quick problem where I've got some data input, three numbers is the inputs, and I've got some outputs which I want to uh, train to reproduce. So, and in this case, the output I want is just the first number in each training input, if that makes sense. So I haven't made a really nice morph diagram here to show noughts going down to, you know, the, the um, give you a nice animation or something to show you these numbers blowing up. I hope, I hope you can see that, it's like naught one, one, zero. Um, so yeah, this, this neural network, this single neuron I'm gonna create is gonna take an input of three and make an output of one or zero, if that makes sense. Uh, so, um, anyway, anyway, I uh, know I need to do some vector maths. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to type all this in, so I made ChatGPT do it for me. Um, unfortunately, I did have to tell it to use std transform because, as has been mentioned before, uh, the large language model gets a lot of rather rubbish code in its input and doesn't think of these sorts of things. So um, you do have to tell it to do it. So. Uh, oh, dot product, yeah, that's great. We've got inner product, so we can just use that. So that's brilliant, that's done. Um, oh yes, so something for, you need for machine learning is this sigma function. Um, it's not particularly numerically stable, this one I've done here, but it's good enough for this uh, cyber and the example I've done. Uh, the other thing you need to know about it is uh, you need to get a gradient of it, uh, which looks like that. Um, so, where am I? One minute fifty. Great. Uh, so I don't like the way that some of these machine learning libraries start off with random variables. Uh, like every time you run it, it starts off with random weights, so different from the last time. If, in terms of unit tests and stuff, you want fixed values. Uh, yeah. So I, you know, I like to know what's going on in my casinos because uh, my name's Benedict as well. Um, so uh, yeah, starting off like that. That's that's what I'm trying to create: single neuron weights, uh, forward pass. Yeah, there's a transform there, does some stuff uh, with that sigma function. Uh, next thing is you have to do, uh, work out how wrong your output was, which you just calculated just then from your training input and use that to fix the weights you just used to create that. So it's like a sort of iterative thing. Uh, and there's that gradient of the sigmoid there in that uh, gradients calculation. Um, so you end up with these Weights at the end, and I've got 53 seconds. So, yeah, these are like uh, the, the gradients outputs. I need to use those in some way. It's kind of like a transpose thing I have to use to correct the weights to make them do a better output next time. Uh, so, a transpose is a really annoying function to have to write. Uh, so, anyway, I used a transform reduce to do sort of the inner bit of it. Uh, still needed a for loop. Um, so, the 100 iterations later, I get sort of what I expect here, really. The first weight is very heavily weighted, and the other two sort of take it down, right? They're, 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 they're sort of subtracting away from the second two inputs. Uh, and so I've got some test cases with doc test, and you've got, um, yeah, so you've got like a positive case, 
that's not seen, bef uh, not seen before, negative case, and a negative case not seen in training. And that's sort of vaguely working. So there we go. All done. Thanks very much.